Hey, how's it going everybody? So, today's video has two purposes. One is to show you my new sky base. And the second one is to show you a new shield that I found. The flame shield, it's level 20 with 15 blocks, 66 parry, and 120 durability. Which is better than every other shield in the game at the moment uh, as far as the block power goes so my new base this is the sky base which is way up here that castle right there on top of the mountain is the one that is on the southern mountain here at the pillars of creation and this is my new base. Let's go over here. And as you can see, it's kind of tall. Uh, 10 floors, and if you count the roof, 11. And I've made four platforms at the top there uh, for jumping off of. And each of them has a little support there. Uh, coming out from the wall. So, the place that uh, I want to show you is out there a ways. So, why not jump off the top of my tower? Down here we've got our flame shrine. And I've got a couple of huge magical boxes here with a whole bunch of stuff in them. Uh, this one has armor sets in it that I've been collecting. And I'm wearing some of them. So I used the bronze plates for the floor here, well blocks for the walls, and then the fancy stone for the floors and the stairs going up through here. On the second floor, I have my farmer. This is my floor here. Put my bed under the stairs there. I got a couple of trophies on the wall and a little fireplace. And then up here on the fourth floor is my hunter with all of her uh, workstations here. And then the fifth floor is nothing. I'm going to turn this into a storage area, kind of, because then it's kind of in the middle of my base. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of storage all around the walls here. On this floor is Cade, our carpenter, and I've got a couple of his workstations in here. There's nothing on this floor. I need to find something for that. Maybe I'll turn it into a living room or something. And then on this floor, we've got our blacksmith and with his workstations. And then, of course, this floor, nothing again. And then the final floor, number 10, we have... Balthazar. And I've got a bunch of his workstations up here. So <clears throat> the tower itself is well block all the way up to the top. And it's two sections of wall. And then in between each floor here, there is luminous block here. And if we go up top, we've got the bronze floor again. And then I did the ramps out here for jumping off of in that as well. And then if you take a look to the side there, I used well block for the supports for them. So from up here, pretty much guaranteed to get anywhere in the world. And anywhere in the world is kind of where we want to go. So that tower over there which is the Nomad Highlands Tower, is kind of where we want to go because the spot that we're going to is just down here, Bounty Barn. So if I go from where I am and head west, I got to go all the way across this shrouded area to get to that. So instead, we're going to fast travel over to the Nomad Spire. And then we're going to glide over to where 
the barn is. So just mark that as a waypoint. And it is 900 and, oh, let's call it 985 meters away. Right over there. So let's glide in. Use our updraft. Now, there is Fanning Ranch, but we want to go down here. So, past this big rock here, and you can just see it out there in front of us. And uh, with no buffs, I have got just enough stamina to actually make it there. Well, to make it this far anyway. So... Let's head up here, and uh, you gotta watch out for those guys. There are cats around, and there are VUCA, like that guy over there. And there are going to be some here at the farm. So, that is Bounty Barn. Now, that field has got a whole bunch of straw that we can gather, but there are cats around and other nasty little creatures. There's a spider inside that little building there. But if you harvest this, you get straw and wheat grain out of it, which is good because you'll need the straw in order to make the beehives. So let's head into the house, avoid the cats, because they're no fun. So when you come into the house, there's not much down here on the first floor. Climb the ladder here. And then... Which side is it again? I think it's over on this... Yeah, over on this side. Jump over to here. And then... If you can, double jump up here. And there's a silver chest right here on this ledge. And this... Oh, we got transcendental screen this time. Well, I'll take that. Uh, but the last time I was here, I got this shield, the flame shield. So, it does a little better uh, blocking than the transcendental screen. 8 block, 60 parry, 120 durability, with a plus 10% shock resistance, where this is 15 block, 66 parry, and 120 durability. So, I don't think too many people have found this chest. Uh, one of the missions does send you here to gather some of the straw there in order to make the beehives. So the farmer will send you here to get that stuff. And while you're here, you may as well pick up whatever is in this chest. Because it does have some decent loot in it. So, there's another location for you with uh, a mission that you have to go on and some pretty decent loot as well. So, that's all for today. I'll catch you later.